What's going on guys? My name is Justin and welcome to Just Pops. This video, we are going to be talking about my, in my opinion, is the top 10 Funko Pops to come out in 2019. So let's do it. So right guys, so before we get into the pops, just so you know, you know, we get like a little background of what you know what I based off my list of. It's pretty much just based it off, you know, how good these pops came out. And you, you know, they're pretty much the whole overall representation of the pop or the character they portray. Pretty much that basics and you know, and if the pop had really cool detail on it. That, that, that's what I base my list off. Um, now, uh, I do have most of these in my collection, but I, there's some of them that I don't collect at all. Um, but um, I think are really cool and deserve to be on the list. So, uh, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so for the first pop at the number 10 spot, we have the Alice in Teacup Funko Pop. Now you're probably like, really Justin? Really Justin? A fun, you know, a, a Disney Park exclusive made it in your top 10? Yes, and here's why. So, I think this pop really represents and, well, not represents, but it makes you feel nostalgia for sure in many ways. One being, you know, it is Disney. So if you were a kid growing up um, in the 90s, Alice in Wonderland was pretty big. I think even before then, maybe not. I think it was the 90s. It came out in the 90s. Um, but yeah, if you, you grew up, you've grown up on it. So like, it's a very popular movie, and I, it's one of my favorite movies too to watch as well. So there's that, and there's the the biggest thing for this pop for me is the show of motion. Now, if you've been to amusement parks or Disney in general, you've been on this ride. And this type of ride where you spin, you spin the cup or whatever it is you're riding, and you spin. So like you, you go automatically, you go automatically feel what's going on in this pop. And I think this, I think Falco did a really good job of representing that and showing that off with the hair motion. And it pretty much the pop looks like it's turning, but it's not. It's staying still. So I thought it was pretty well done, and um, that's why I earned my number ten spot in this list. So yeah, Disney Park exclusive, Alice and Teacup at the number 10 spot. All right, next up in our number nine spot, we have Post Malone. Now this pop is a common, it was, you know, pretty much, you can find it anywhere in re any retail stores and stuff, Uncle Pops. But I think this is, for the Pops Rocks line, I think this is probably the best detailed Funko Pop. Cause you know, as you can see, every detail of his tattoos on his face, the way he, the way he stands, stands, the red solo cup, is is a really, really great representation of Post Malone. And they, they pretty much nailed it with the hair, the facial hair, um, you know, and the stance and everything is is on point, guys. The detail is insane in this pop, so I thought it was worthy enough to be on the number on my top list. So yeah, at the number nine spot, we got Post Malone. All right, guys. So next up, we have number eight. And if you guys, you know, follow this channel, see my channel, you know I have to put some anime pops in here. It has to be done. <laughs> so for the number eight spot, we have a My Hero Academia villain. It is Tumari uh, Shiga Shigaraki. I think it's Shigaraki. I think that's how you pronounce his name. <laughs> uh, so Tomoto. Um, Guys, I mean, this pop is just ridiculously detailed. Um, with all, I, I was really, when they released, when they, when they said they're gonna release this pop, I was wondering how were they gonna do the hands, you know, especially with the hand in the face. And they, they pretty much nailed it. They have the big hand coming from the back, uh, you know, attached to like, the other ones behind him as well. And the one in the face is really, really detailed and just awesome. And I love the little hint of the eye showing as well. So very well done with Funko for that. And you know the, the little hands, you know, over him as well. So like, it's, it's I think it's really, really, really detailed, and uh, it deserves to be in number eight spot. So yeah, Tomato, 
number eight. All right, guys, so next up, we have another anime pop, and it's at number seven. Now, this pop was very, very sought after, and I think it still is. Um, this pop is pretty up there in value, as most, you know, as you know, anime pops tend to do that, um, especially the ones that are chases. So the next one we have, we have the Broly Glow in the Dark Chase. Uh, it was exclusive to Chalice, no. No, no, it's exclusive to Galactic Toys. Yes, exclusive. The exclusive to Galactic Toys, and this pop when when Funko revealed that they were coming out with a chase. I think this was the first chase for Dragon Ball Z. I think, um, and it's a six-inch Broly. With the details are incredible. The glow is insane. So I thought it it deserved to be on the top list. So at number seven, we have the Broly Chase. All right guys, so next up on the, the number six spot, we have another common pop. This one is so awesome. It is the Captain America with hammer and shield, uh, with Morley and, and his broken shield. Now, they did release a pop, uh, pretty much the same thing, but a different stance, and it wasn't as detailed as this one was. Um, and plus, they got the wrong sides of you know when he when he's holding the shield and when he's holding the hammer. So it was it's, it was like a big thing. It was like oh it's all right, but this pop, this common pop, you know, it blew that one out the park. And I mean, look at it. It's it's so beautiful. The detail and you know the effects coming out of it as well with the lightning. Um, from the hammer is out of this world. Funko did a really good job. Another good competitor next to this was the Iron Man, the Iron Spider. Um, that one's also a good one. He's holding the the um, gauntlet, and he has his uh, the legs coming out from behind him, and it's, it's, it looks it kind of has this metallic finish. But uh, I don't know if it's, if it's meant to be metallic, but it looks metallic. It looks pretty awesome too. So I had to between I had to choose between the two, and I, I think I like the Captain America more. Um, just the way it looks, uh, it looks better to me, but yeah, so we have Captain America at number six. All right, guys, so we're getting into the top five portion of the list. At number five, we have the NYCC exclusive My Hero Academia villain, Stain. Now, this one was a little bit, you know, I had to make sure this is what this is when I, you know. I had to choose between the, if it should be later or like or better on the list or or number five spot. I chose to be number five spot because I mean the, how awesome this pop is and they, I think they, they they represented them well. But I just think they, they should have done a little bit of blood at least. Um, but I love the design of it. About his uh, um, I don't know if his escape or his headband has comes comes around him um, and the size there. I think that's really well done in my opinion. But like I said, I wish the you know at least I don't, the swords didn't you know didn't have any blood on them, or his or his face at all. There's no blood on him at all. You know what I mean? So it, it should have been you know a little bloody to begin with. But uh, like I said, the overall presentation of, of the of the pop is really awesome. So yeah, uh, stain at number five. All right, guys. So next up we have number four spot. Now, I think, in my opinion, this is the best My Hero Pop to come out this year. And that is the GameStop exclusive Endeavor. Now, when I first got this pop in my hands and took it out of the box, it was just magnificent. The mold itself is just fantastic. The detail is insane. The fire is, like, translucent. And, you know, this fire on its feet that come up is, like... And just the design, you know, Falco took their time with this one, you know what I mean? Like, they, they took the time to put the detail in him because he's such a great character um, in the show. I mean, he, he tends to be a little on, you know, on the evil side. Mm. But, you know, he, he's a, he is a hero. Uh, he's currently the number one hero. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's really awesome. Um, will they make a glow version in the future? I, I sure hope so. Um, there there was a... Um, a Custom that was made. He was glowing in the dark, which is it looked fire. <laughs> it looked so good. Um, I wanted to get my hands on it, but it was kind of too expensive for me at the time. So I'm hoping that Funko comes out with a 
another exclusive that is glow in the dark. That would be awesome to have. But yeah, guys, I mean, this mode is pretty much uh, even opening it, it kind of it feels like a six inch, but it, is, it should be it's a little bigger than a you know than a three and three and four three and three fourths inch Funko Pop, you know, four inch Funko Pop. But it's it's beautiful. I think this Funko did this really well, and yeah, that is my top my hero Funko Pop to come out this year, and uh, number four spot. All right, guys, we are in the top three, top three section of the list. It's exciting. All right, number three, we have the first ad icon in the, the first and only ad icon in the list. We have the Pillsbury Doughboy that released this year for that horrible, horrible Black Friday bundle. Horrible, it's horrible stuff. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I think. Majority of people would agree with me how, how horrible that box was. Literally, I just wanted the Pillsbury Doughboy. If it wasn't for the Pillsbury, I wouldn't have bought anything. I didn't buy the bundle, because it was like, yeah, pass. Thank God I did. So I waited. I ended up getting this guy at the Funko Shop in Hollywood. Um, they had them, they had limited quantities. So they had probably like 15 of each there. Um, so, I mean, it, it was pretty well done, uh, you know, how Funko handled it. But, you know, um, People were complaining of the fact that, you know, Fungo didn't really, you know, explain to people that these things would be sold separately rather than the bundle. They, was, they didn't make it clear about that. Um, but yeah, I was, you know, took my chances and just went um, because there's been rumors saying that Fungo Hollywood was going to have some because Fungo HQ had them in Everett. They had them. They had a whole bunch. Um, but they didn't really send that many to Hollywood. Um, but, you know, I was lucky to get them. So yeah, this pop is... One of my favorites is is really awesome. You know, I think last year on my list, um, the first Pillsbury Doughboy to come out was from last year for the 12 Days of Christmas. He was number one on my list for last year, and they also came out with another one this year for um, Emerald City Comic Con. Then that one he's holding the, the Shamrock Cookie. So in this one we have more details. Pretty much the same old, but we have a lot more detail. This one he's wearing the Santa outfit. And he's holding a plate of cookies. That is just, if I mean, come on, guys, you can't you can't go wrong with it. I mean, you know what I mean. I think this is the best, one of the best ad icons to come out this year. Um, you know what I mean. So I, I really enjoy this pop, man. I love me some Pillsbury Doughboy. So Pillsbury Doughboy at number three. All right, guys. So our number two spot, special number two, we got Dwight Schrute with bobblehead. This was it was an also a NYCC exclusive of this year and probably one of my f my favorite pieces of my collection really awesome well done um you know it would it would have been you know it would have been a, it probably would have reached number one if the bobblehead itself was a bobblehead but I, I can see how funko would have trouble with issues with that because how how small it is um but it would have been it would have been awesome to to have that possible but um, nevertheless, it's really awesome pop. Um, not really big on detail, but I just like the, you know, if you're a big fan of The Office and you see this pop and it's just, it brings back, you know, cool memories and, you know, I also have, you also have the replica bobblehead of Dry Shoot from Hot Topic as well. I have that in my collection as well. So, I just think it's really awesome. I think it's an awesome exclusive for The Office to come out with. Um, but, that being said, I do hope um, Funko starts releasing some new characters for The Office already or some new exclusives because we are getting a lot of Dwight Schrute. So if you see my last video, yeah, I kind of explained how, you know, Dwight Schrute already has maybe seven pops already. You know what I mean? I think he's the top one. And then, I right, let's see, I want more Michael Scott's. Like, come on now. He's the, he's the main, he's, he's the guy. He's the boss. You feel me? So, I mean, I, I want to see more, more exclusives for him uh, and then more characters in general for next year for sure. So Dwight Schrute with Bobblehead at number two. All right, guys, you made it to the number one spot. If you stick around for the whole list, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you know, those of you who didn't, they missed out. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, number one spot, guys, we have Ang on Air Scooter Chase. Now, this one released earlier this year. I'm talking like right out the bat, like January 4th. 
this pop was released in any stores and like from the get go I knew this pop was gonna be my number one spot unless something else had beaten it Dwight came close <laughs> obviously but yeah nothing for me beat it I mean it, it, even if, even, if the, even if the glow wasn't on the pop itself which they do have a Hot Topic exclusive the one that doesn't glow just the design of the pop itself, the detail of him on, you know, with the air around him and on the air um, sphere that he makes to hover, which is just awesome. Um, so, yeah, Fungo did a really good job with this one, and just the fact that it glows made it even better. And yeah, so we have Aang on Air Scooter for the number one spot. Alright, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please, please let me know if you disagree with any of things of, you know, of any of the items on my list. And please, if you do have a list already, put it in the comment section below. I really love to hear you guys' feedback on, you know, what you think is the the best pops 2019. And uh, let me know what you're looking forward to the 2020. Um, I know there's a lot more um, new shows that came out this year that people would like to see as Funko Pops and you know collect those lines as well. Let me know. Love to hear from you guys. Before we head out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I really hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and hope everyone has, you know, a really big celebration leading into the new year. Uh, wish you guys all the best. Um, and yeah, let's take on this new year. Powerful. The pride, let's do it. I'm ready for 2020 guys. And you know, I think it's gonna be a big year. Um, yeah, we say that every year, but I, I feel it. I feel it this year. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna enjoy it this year. You know, new decade. So let's, uh, let's make it happen, make it big. You know, let's enjoy it. And I uh, hope you guys are doing well as well. So happy holidays to everyone. Stay safe and have a good time. Thank you for watching again. And I'll see you guys next time.